vision of Wolfville, uh, for Wolfville, is to continue the driving uh, energy that, is, that has been in Wolfville for the last number of years. We've improved uh, many areas with respect to amenities, be they cultural and uh, recreational, and to continue that drive that's taken place. We have been a very, what I would say, progressive community, uh, thinking forward uh, and bringing much, uh, I guess, change in, um, in thought and in some in legislation, uh, making progressive steps forward. I think, uh, I think our biggest vision is to continue the diversity, the inclusion, and the vibrancy that this town currently is experiencing. This council seems to be dedicated towards improving uh, lifestyle with respect to active transportation. Um, economic growth is one of the areas that this council has an interest in, in as much as how do we continue to grow a steady, sustainable economic base in a small town of you know just over 4,000 people, but with our partners, Acadia, uh, of another almost 4,000 people. And how do we continue that to make everybody benefit? So I think our biggest focus right now is going to be things like amenities in active transportation with respect to the rail to trail and bike lanes in town, as well as uh, the economic growth. And of course, number one priority right now, I'd have to say, and it looks like we're moving ahead, um, with respect to the renovations of the Wolfel School, P to eight uh, school, and uh, renovations that we hope will take start to take place next year in the construction season 14-15, and probably finish up in 15-16, whatever the uh, the timeline is. The energy that Wolfel uh, that drives Wolfel comes from Acadia. Uh, the youth, the experience, the professional, uh, professionalism of, of their administration and faculty and their student body. I think a legacy, for, well for me personally in this town is going to be the uh, Wolfel School and how, that is, uh, and how that is going to be revamped and renewed. I see the school as being a key cog and it's part of our economic engine. I mean if there's no school in a local community, especially a town like ours, if there's no local school uh, or it's not held up to a certain standard, who's going to want to continue, who's going to look forward to move here, go online and see what have we got. So I think the school is the number one with respect to legacy. And the other are going to be the cultural and recreational amenities I think that are going to provide a lifestyle that people who move to our community, rural lifestyle, but with, that, with the urban culture and recreation amenities that uh, that, that many towns don't have the benefit. We're an hour from the city, so it's great to drop down, spend a weekend at one of the B&Bs, um, or just come for the day. Uh, we've got a great selection of, uh, of other things with respect to restaurants, shops. Being able to travel uh, to a community like Wolfel and then within that community travel safely by walking and bikes is what I see a lot of active transportation. Um, and so sharing, sharing the, uh, the amenities that we currently have through the rail to trail, we are taking that rail to trail uh, from the east end of Wolfville all the way to Highway 358 behind the Irving Station. And the town's going to, uh, that's being initiated this year to, fin to finish that off so we can connect bikes and pedestrians that way. And the county as well is going to take it from the other side of the Irving Station through to meet up with Kentville. That's going to provide a huge resource for us. So I see that and I see the, uh, the, uh, the actual developing of bike lanes within the town, down through Main Street, and then so children and people, adults, will be able to ride safely uh, through the town to get to school so we don't have to maybe not use the car for every little stop and start.